Uh, Karen, um, tell us a little about uh, Georgia Tech. Um, how how is it to swim in college? Uh, people you don't know uh, leave your house, home, friends. Okay, like I said before college, like when I was already 16, it was my dream to get to college, uh, and it wasn't anything less than what I expected, even much more. Like I would never forget like four years of experience I had there. I think I also changed a lot during those four years. Uh, I w I'm very, I'm a person that really is, was searching to be independent when I was younger. Like I always wanted to be like, do everything on my own, do everything. Uh, But it's hard. Like many, pe many, many people just uh, come back to to the mainland, to Israel, and, and they said it's not for me. Even yeah. the many Olympians. But members. I think it's it's the same as you know like. 18 year old kids that go to the army and leave home it's not much different than that uh, so it's in a different country but still I my parents came to visit me almost every year and I came every summer so it's nine months and then three months in Israel so in that sense I don't think it was too hard obviously I had my uh, difficulties sometimes uh, but I enjoyed it Tons. It and was they changed amazing. your style, and now you're a yeah. butterfly swimmer. Yeah. And now you're coming back to the to your roots in freestyle. That's true. I'm I'm also swimming freestyle, but my focus now is on the butterfly on the. And uh, tell me, tell me about it, and what do you do to help uh, kids, especially girls, to do sports, not only swimming. Well, I actually, I just go and talk with kids. I don't want to call it lectures or speeches or anything like that because it's more like uh, interactive talk. Uh, I just, I share my experience with swimming and how I love swimming and that's the truth, like the fun of it, all the nice sides of it uh, and how it helped me in life. That's the, the big deal in my opinion. Like I feel like I, I'm much more successful in life thanks to swimming. Almost everything I do and everything like my job, my school, college, all, all the things I achieved so far is thanks to swimming. Uh, so I talk about that and when I go to club teams I talk about uh, how I deal with you know the tough times every swimmer, every athlete goes through. Lots uh, of failures. Yes. So Success as well. Yeah and, and how to deal with competition and Uh, how to be a better team and a lot of things that I just you know tools that I uh, gained through life uh, through my experience my 15 years of experience in swimming so <laughs> it's a lot uh, yeah it's a lot for for a girl it's a lot especially in Israel I'm the second oldest swimmer in Israel Amit is the oldest and she's only six months older than me so it's pretty sad I hope <laughs> <laughs> I hope it won't be like this. No, I uh, think it's going to change. I hope. I'll make the change with all the <laughs> lectures. And now, what do you have to say to the mommies uh, who are afraid of shoulders and afraid that uh, the body of their um, kids, uh, girls, are going to change with swimming? Uh. I really, I, I never thought of it as a problem. Like, I think I'm proud of being strong and I, th I think also today, it's not like being skinny girl is, is nice. Like Barifaeli and all the models, they're not skinny and they have muscle, they go to the gym, they also train. Uh, I, think, I think it's pretty, but uh, I think more than that, I, very think, pretty. I think I gained a lot of self-confidence through swimming. Uh, I probably wouldn't be able to talk to you this way and no one would even listen to what I have to say if I wasn't a swimmer. And, I think it, there's only good things from that. And if shoulders is a problem, it's, you know, it goes away, obviously, <laughs> after you quit. It's not like it's there forever. Uh, so it's totally worth it if, if it, someone sees it as a If you were the swimmer, uh, what sport do you think uh, you would go to? 
Nothing. I nothing? can't do anything. <laughs> I'm only in the water. No basketball. No. <laughs> no ball. You throw a ball at me. I'm like, ah! <laughs> yeah. No. No way. Um, will probably be. So uh, what do you have to do to to make it to to swim to to nine? I need to swim fast. <laughs> But yeah. Like this. It's easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I need to improve my technique. My technique is, I think, my weak side. Uh, Um, what else? My underwaters are pretty bad, but thankfully it's long course, uh, so there's not as much underwater, and it, it doesn't count as much. The dolphin kick is 200 butterfly. They usually don't do 15 meter underwater, uh, so I. But I still I should improve that. There's a lot of things I can improve. I feel like I'm like a 12 year old girl because <laughs> I just started swimming it recently so for me it's like you know I just started I'm like a, a little girl again improving my times uh, wow, it's amazing so it, it was really a pleasure uh, talking Thanks, to you, you too. and uh, I hope people swim especially girls um, and uh, we hope to see you in the Olympics Thanks. thank you very much <laughs> thank you <laughs>